Hi, I'm Erica Willis. This is Mad Slam. That's not even it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erica Willis. This is Natalie Achanwa. I'm Kalia Copper. I am Vanija Laney with W Slam Mad Lips. I'm gonna ask you a question and you're gonna answer. We're gonna write it all down and you're gonna read at the end what the Mad Lib is. Okay. Sunny. Who's Sunny? My dog. I have to say my girlfriend, Danielle. She's gonna love that. That will be my husband, Jordan Hamilton. What was the most recent trip you guys took? We went to Cabo, Mexico, um, mid-October for both of our birthdays. We had so much fun. We um, did the ATV rides. We rode by the beach, went to the stop by the rocks, stopped by some camels, took some pictures. 360 view rooftop um, for a sunset dinner, which was really nice. Yeah, that kind of sums it up my sister, Kendra. She's the adventurous one out of the two of us. We're going to Jamaica with our entire family for Christmas, so she's planning the excursion, so put a lot of faith in her. <laughs> I'm the middle child and the most responsible, so I keep the family together, um, but she's definitely the one that's spontaneous. Dubai. Why Dubai? There's so much there. Uh, I think this, between the aesthetic, for me, I'm, I'm big on aesthetic and uh, just the entire experience. I want to go to the Giraffe Manor in, in um, Kenya. It's the Fiji Islands. Um, Africa. There's this place called Bar Taco. Every time we play in Atlanta, that's the only spot I eat at. What's the go-to order? Five tacos, two duck, two of the fried oyster, and then the other one kind of varies. You got to get the pineapple, Mexican corn on the side, some plantains. I like cheese steaks because I'm from Philly. Where in Philly? I like the Alessandro's. It's, it's the best for me, but I had a cheese steak from this place in South Philly called The Avenue, and it's up there. So we neck and neck right now. Tacos, it's my go-to. Taco spots are pretty good in Atlanta. Pie in Toronto. It's like a Thai food, Asian cuisine, fire. Or like juicy seafood in Indiana. Or like my kitchen, cause like I could throw down a little bit. Where'd you learn to cook? When you like to eat, you kind of just learn to cook. Um, growing up, my mom was like a huge baker. So just being in the kitchen and stuff like that with her around the holidays. Um, but for the most part, I freestyle in the kitchen to fix my own cravings. <laughs> I think the finals was just so crazy because it was super competitive, but like I was like performing at my best uh, of my career. So how'd you tap into that? I was just like, you know, we here, like it's no way that we, we lose. Like I wanted to win my first championship and I was just super locked in. I've made a couple of buzzer beater, but nothing top becoming an all-star MVP. How about that game? You know, what's for you is for you. And I think I was in a, a great moment of everything's just going well for me and just to top it off, All-Star MVP was just insane to even do, being able to do that in front of the world. And, you know, just being able to do that, you know, for my mom and let the world know who it was for. So I think that was just a super dope moment of my career. Maybe the one against Seattle when we won at home on the buzzer beater. What was the play? I just remember catching a ball, jab stepping. Maybe it was two dribbles pull up and it was like a bank shot. <laughs> and then everybody just went crazy and it was just a great feeling. Oh, what goes through your head when like those moments arise? Playing just in like really in the moment. I think that's just because it's like, these are shots that I like work on and practice. So it's just like, now it's just somebody in my face kind of. But I don't think I'm necessarily thinking anything. It's like afterwards, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy I made that. <laughs> my most memorable buzzer beater had to be when I was at the University of Notre Dame. We were playing against UConn and it was our last game in the Big East, in the Big East uh, championship before we switched to the ACC. And Sky Dig hit me with that fast court layup, caught it, finished, buzzer beater layup, and we won outright the Big East that year before we said bye. That is one for the book. Yeah. <laughs> My mom took us on a cruise, kind of like a tour of the Bahamas, which was really nice. There were lots of food, a pool, a basketball court, and then we stopped in different ports and we did this like submarine ride, which was really fun. My favorite trip was WOW, it's a skating rink. It's not even called WOW anymore. When everybody done skating, you go to the middle, you can dance, it turned into a little party for like, like little kids, but WOW for sure. Going to Disney World with my family. My family is pretty big. I grew up in a house with um, 13 people, three bedrooms, so you can imagine that. My favorite childhood trip was when my whole family went to Aruba for vacation. 
I beat a bunch of boys one on one. Me and my brother were just shooting, and you know, when guys come, and like, oh, she can't play, da, da, da. I could indeed play, and I beat them. They were talking a, a little bit of trash and stuff, but you know, not too much once I was winning. They get mad? Somebody actually did get mad. Mm -hmm. Do the ball. I didn't know how to skate for real. I could dance, so I was like, I was playing it off, like, nah, y'all gotta come to the middle and dance. Like, nobody wanna skate. Like, we're not really skating. I was just like flexing. Did you ever fall? For sure, I fell too many times. That's why I was like, nah, I gotta, I gotta be careful out here. I can't be out here breaking my neck. I think I enjoyed the the ride there more than anything because you get to be in a car secluded with your family the whole entire time. You know, the adults are telling stories. They um, we just getting to know each other in a way that you just can't do some time in the house. Who would get in trouble? Though? Oh, absolutely me. Me, I'm, I'm getting in trouble first because I was just so curious, young. Like I'm always in some, I always wanted to do, do things. I was super competitive as a young age. If I couldn't reach something, I'm gonna get a chair to try to get it super independent. So I was always in something. We did this underwater trekking and we had like these astronaut helmets on and we were walking on the bottom of the ocean. The experiences are things that stick with you, um, especially that time spent with your family. Beyonce. What's the song? It's hard to choose a song. I really like Halo a lot. That's pr that would probably be like my go-to. Um, but all of them. That's Beyonce. I really want her to come to a game. I have a jersey waiting for her if she comes to a game. If she shows up at a game. What do you do? I'm a freak out. I don't. I can. I don't even know. I don't know. I'll probably have like an out of body experience. I don't know. <laughs> Without a doubt, if Beyonce comes and watches me play, it'll probably be my best game of my life. I'm gonna say Meek and I'm gonna say Jasmine Sullivan. Oh, Philly. And I like BPW from Jasmine Sullivan. I ain't gonna say what that means. <laughs> Shout out to the, the 10 year anniversary of Dreams, Dreams and Nightmares. I sang this song like a million times between after the game, directly after the game, then in the locker room, then in the club, on the way to the club, on the way home. I, I sang it too much. I really burnt it out, but it, it's all right. It's my favorite. Lil Baby is becoming one of my favorite artists. Like, you touch on a lot of things that I kind of experience when it comes to, like, family, so. What song? Freestyle is the one that I love the most because he's really talking about his life and his friends and how he got to where he is today, so I love that song. You know, I got to go with my Toronto mans and Drizzy Drake. That's the number one song right now for him. I mean, we could just put out the whole Take Care album. I know I'm going to put it back a little bit, but everything he puts out is a banger for the most part. So now you're going to read like what you we filled in the map okay. with. Just read it line by line, like super dramatic. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? Hop in, Danielle. We're going on a long ride to Africa. I've got a little baby ready to blast. We're going to stop at a secret taco spot in Atlanta before we start this long haul. I can't believe we finally going to Africa. This has me feeling like that time I became an all-star MVP. I haven't been on a move like this since I went to Disney World with my family. We had a three hour long drive with family story time. You ready to hit the road? Fire. All right. Hop in Jordan, we're going for a long ride to the Giraffe Manor. I've got Beyonce ready to blast, and we're gonna stop at Bar Taco before we start the long haul. I can't believe we're finally going to the Giraffe Manor. This has me feeling like the time I hit that buzzer beater against Seattle. I haven't been on the move like this since I went to the Bahamas, and I beat a bunch of boys in one-on-one. -on -one. You ready to hit the road? Awesome. <laughs> Sounds great. Hop in, Sunny. We're going for a long ride to Dubai. I've got Meek Mill and Jasmine Sullivan ready to blast, we're gonna stop at the Avenue or D'Alessandro's before we start the long haul. I can't believe we're finally going to Dubai. This has me feeling like the time I hit another gear in the finals. I haven't been on the move like this since I went to WOW and I didn't know how to skate, but I could dance. You ready to hit the road? Oh, that's perfect. Sunny. <laughs> Hop in, Kelly. We're going for a long ride to Kendra. Fiji. I've got my Toronto man's Drizzy Drake ready to blast, and we're gonna stop at Pi before we start the long haul. I can't believe we're finally going to Fiji. This has me feeling like that time I was at Notre Dame and hit the buzzer beater layup over Yukon. I haven't been on the move like this since we went to Aruba, and I had that astronaut helmet on at the bottom of the ocean. Are you ready to hit the road? Yeah, you hit that like one take. Yeah, except that, that tongue twister astronaut line. <laughs> yeah. And that was a Mad Lib. That was a Mad Lib. And that was a Mad Lib. And that was a Mad Lib by the Benajelini. From Kalia. By Natalie. By Erica. <laughs>